Hey everyone, welcome to the top 10 list. Welcome to my top 10 favorite Square Enix games. Yeah, Square Enix is a video game corporation that has done a lot of good video games, and I thought I'd talk about my top 10 personal favorites. Uh, I was going to do Naughty Dog, but then the, the Last of Us 2 news came out, and I just didn't want to talk about Naughty Dog at all and stuff, actually. I was going to do a whole video about The Last of Us Part 2, but I digress. Uh, I thought I'd do Square Enix because they do a lot of Final Fantasy RPG games. I've talked a lot about these games, but there's a few I haven't talked about, so that's why I thought I'd do Square Enix, but there are going to be some repeats on this list from other lists, so bear with me. I won't talk about them as much, but yeah, let's just get to it. Um, here's my top 10 personal favorite Square Enix video games. And as a list for top 10 list, you gotta have your honorable mentions. My honorable mentions are the Dragon Quest games, the Star Ocean games, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Just Cause 3, Just Cause 4, uh, Onanaki, uh, Final Fantasy 9, and Life is Strange 2. Great games, just gonna be the top 10 list. But damn my top 10 is my number 10. My number 10 is the Tomb Raider remake. I liked the Tomb Raider. Definitive Remake, Definitive Edition, whatever the fuck it's called. It came up for the PS3. I played it on the PS4. I enjoy all the new Tomb Raiders. Uh, this is a very good one. I like what Lara Croft has to deal with to get all her friends back and stuff, all the trials she has to deal with. It's really cool and stuff. Uh, it's a lot more of a grittier Tomb Raider. It's not my favorite Tomb Raider game. Uh, my favorite Tomb Raider game is probably some of the older ones, like the second Tomb Raider for the PS1. That's a classic right there. But this is still a very good game. It's a, it's a really gritty game, and I like doing the hunting and uh, the weapon upgrades and all that stuff. So Tomb Raider is a really great game, so I love Tomb Raider. Uh, number nine. Number nine is Life is Strange. Life is Strange is a great Telltale series about a girl named Max, and she's a photographer in school. And basically, she has to deal with all the stuff and the craziness of her, uh, of her town, Arca Arcadia Bay. And uh, there's a missing student. She has to help her old best friend find this missing student. In this meantime, you're taking pictures, investigating, and going diving deeper into these students and stuff. And it's a very interesting story. It's a great coming-of-age dramatic story, but also a little bit of a psychological thriller as well. Very good game, though. Uh, number eight is Crisis Core Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core. Uh, this is the story about Zack and Angeal and Genesis and stuff. Fucking amazing game. Love this game. It tells the story of Zack in such an awesome, creative way, and it doesn't ruin any continuity or anything like that. All the scenes with Zack and Aerith are great. The scenes with Cloud's great. The editing, the editing is great, but the ending is fantastic. And how it ties into Final Fantasy VII perfectly. And the way they do Sephiroth, the voice acting of Zack, the gameplay, just an all-around amazing game. They need to put this game on the PS4 immediately. Like, come on now, fuck. Great game, though. Uh, number seven, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Shadow of the Tomb Raider is a very good game. It's probably my favorite Tomb Raider of all the remakes of the Tomb Raider games. Uh, I just love the mythos of this story. The the tomb raiding is a lot more challenging, a lot more creative. Uh, the villain is fucking difficult, but it's really cool. Um, yeah, I, I even like the side character, Elijah. He's a really cool character. Uh, just everything that, that you go through uh, as Lara Croft in this game is really great. The different costumes, the different hunting styles, going to all these different, like, uh, interesting villages and helping these people. Really great stuff, and I think it's a great game. Number six. Number six is the 2016 Hitman. Uh, I wanted to do a ranking of the Hitman games, but I haven't played a lot of them. I played one Hitman game for the PS2, so I need to play more of them. But I played this one. This is a great game. Uh, it's a cool, uh, you know, coming back to form of Hitman, old school Hitman, and for mature, awesome bloodiness. You're playing as Agent 4047, and uh, great game, uh, great character. Uh, if you are very good at like uh, shoot 'em ups, then definitely it's a game for you and definitely easy game to play. And yeah, it's a fun one too. Number five is Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger is a game I am playing right now. Someone actually told me to play this game, and a lot of people have been telling me to play this game for almost more than a decade, and I never have, but I finally got it because I have old school PlayStation. So uh, I, had, I bought a PS1 version of the Chrono Trigger, and I'm playing it right now. Great game, loving everything about it. Love these characters, love the gameplay. It's turn-based uh, battle combat, which I love. 
That's why I love old school Final Fantasy, and it's fucking amazing. It's epic, it's great, it's compelling. I'm curious to see how it ends, but so far, I'm loving it. It's in my top five. Number four is Kingdom Hearts 3. Kingdom Hearts 3 is a really great game, and I love the story of Sora and his adventure with Donald Duck and Goofy. It's just such a great story. Love the first one, love the second one, but the third one is a lot more great. A lot more better Disney worlds, Disney villains you get to face. It's a lot more... Uh, it's got a lot more better visuals and better imagery. The gameplay is a lot more cool. The music is badass. Just all an awesome game. If you love Final Fantasy and you love Disney, you'll fucking love Kingdom Hearts. Uh, number three is Final Fantasy 15. Sadly, all these are Final Fantasy games. Final Fantasy 15, I've talked about this. I, I still to this day will defend this game, call it a fucking great game. I think it's a masterwork. I think it's a great story. I think um, uh, Noctis is a great character. The last boss is a great boss. The The ending, I still think, is one of the most emotional endings to any Final Fantasy game. The soundtrack's great. The characters are great. Just, I love it. It's a great game. Number two, Final Fantasy X. X is, it holds very dear to me. I played this for the PS2. Then I played it for the PS3 when it came out. Then I played it for the PS4 when I PS4. So I played it on three different systems. And I beat it on all three different systems. Love this game. It's another very emotional, hard-hitting story. It's probably one of my favorite stories out of all the Final Fantasy games. Love all these characters. Titus, Oren, Riku, Yuno, Waka, Lulu. All of them are great characters. And they're all like these guardians trying to protect their summoner so they can defeat the monster Sin and save the world of Spira. Just a great story. Great characters. Very deep at times. Very sad. Just love it to death. 10 too sucked, but 10's amazing. Number one... Final Fantasy 7, y'all fucking know it's Final Fantasy 7. What the fuck else would it be other than Final Fantasy 7? I've talked a lot about Final Fantasy 7. I've done so many videos about Final Fantasy 7. The original mostly is my number one, but I still really like the remake, so I'll, I can put it right there with it. But just, I love Final Fantasy 7. Everyone knows this is my favorite video game of all time, so Final Fantasy 7. <laughs> so yeah, that's my top 10 personal favorite Square Enix. So yeah, that was my top 10 personal favorite Square Enix video games. So in the comment section below, please tell me what are your guys' top 10 favorite Square Enix games. In your guys' opinion, give me those opinions. Comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please subscribe to this channel and join the duck side.